Ball State travels to Vandy. Vandy, a 25.5 point home favorite, total of 58.5. Like I said, we are going fast on uh, on these last few. You look through here, Vanderbilt. Uh, all that needs to be said here, really, is that with Diego Pavia, you always bet on him as a double digit underdog. If Vanderbilt is favored, you bet against him, right? And I didn't learn about that. I should have known it. But my God, this Vanderbilt team had looked really, really good the first couple of weeks of the season. Week three, they go down to Georgia State and they toss up an egg. Now, they still probably should have won the game, but they were never going to cover that 10 and a half or 10 or whatever it was. In this situation, 25 and a half, it, it, Ball State is not good. You can see they're number 132 in PPA margin. This is not a good football team. However, this is a sandwich spot if I have ever seen one. Vanderbilt just beat Alabama at home. They just beat Kentucky on the road. And now they got Ball State at home the week before they host Texas. And by God, if they win this and Texas wins their game against Georgia, college game day could be in Nashville next week. I mean, what are you doing with Ball State? Do you care about this game? Like, I wouldn't. Total is 58 and a half. I've got the projected total at 51. Uh, I think that this game's just going to be... It's what it is. I mean, my, you see my total, or my uh, my number on it. I've got Vanderbilt by 25. Over the past four weeks, I've got Vandy by 18. Ball State's offense is starting to pick up a little bit. I don't think they're going to be able to do much against Vanderbilt's defense. Granted, Vandy's defense isn't great by any stretch of the imagination, but they are good enough, and this Vanderbilt offense, now Pia, uh, De- yeah. <laughs> Diego Pavia uh, was kind of banged up at the end of last week. You don't want him to get hurt in a game like this, right? You want to save him for some of these bigger games, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I will take Ball State to cover the 25 and a half, and I wish that I'd gotten a 26 uh, or more earlier in the week. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.